eines der größten Jugendturniere überhaupt auf dem Planeten. Ladies and Gentlemen, das ist ein Moment, auf den sich viele von euch gefreut haben. Dort oben steht der Weltmeister von 2014, ein Mann, der neun Major-Turniere in seiner Laufbahn gewinnen konnte. Dort oben wartet die aktuelle Nummer 1 der Welt. Herzlich willkommen hier in Düsseldorf, Mighty Mike, Michael van Gerwen. This is your world number one, Michael Van Gerwen, the top boy in world darts and a man who has won four of the five European Tour events so far in 2015. Taking on Jamie Lewis, an up-and-coming player, a man who has made the final one of these European Tour events before now, but a man who has his work cut out for him. Dan Dawson in the commentary box alongside me, Rod Harrington. What a night of darts we're having here in Dusseldorf. Looks good if I switch myself on, Dan, I suppose. Uh, yes, I mean, it's been incredible. All the first games have been, you know, electric. I mean, it just... We knew that tonight was when, not being asked to anybody, when the real top boys come out to play and uh, they certainly haven't let us down. And we've had some cracking games. But as you said, this is a big, big task here for Jamie Lewis up against the world number one. And it's going to be interesting to see how Michael plays because lost in Japan in the final, lost to Benito in uh, Risa, and he needs to get back on the winning run. So he's going to have to start getting focused. Second leg, gentlemen. First leg, Michael to throw first. Game on. Well, Michael Van Gogh has the advantage of throwing first in this one, looking to bounce back from disappointment in Risa and in Japan. He had a 21-game unbeaten streak on the European Tour that was ended by Benito van der Pass three weeks ago in East Germany. Jamie Lewis, though, has beaten Michael Van Gerwen once before. He put in an incredible display. Averaged around about 108 in winning 6-4 in the UK Open qualifier last year. It was in the semi-finals. He ended up losing to Brendan Dolan in the final. 57. But that may be something to cling on to for Jamie Lewis. He's lost the other five meetings he's had with him. But he does know what victory wow. over the world number one feels like. And I think because they're playing each other week in, week out, or, or in each other's company mm. on the tour, whether it's a, a pro tour event or a European event, a world ranking event, uh, as in TV events. So the fear factor is not there so much as what it would have been years ago. I mean, everybody wow. knows how good Michael Van Gogh is. His, his record you know, goes before him. But um, Jamie Lewis. Still learning the game. Been around quite a few years for a youngster, but it's still learning. Well, I'm not the experience is invaluable. Well, he's right there with MVG in this opening leg. But Van Gerwen takes the out the 108 leg. for a 15 oh, data and holds his throw. Now, it has to be said, if Jamie Lewis plays like he did against Michael Rosenauer last night, he'll be lucky to get none on the board. He beat Michael Rose now 6-5, but it was, if we're honest, a bit of a dog of a game. He only averaged about 80. 96. There was one moment of quality. He threw a 12 data in there with a couple of 180s, and that was to break back, having been broken himself, and then it was just hold to throw until the end. But he's got the job done. And it's given him the opportunity now to turn it on against the world number one. When he did go on the run to the final of one of these things, it was in Gibraltar a couple of years ago. He beat Kevin Painter, beat Adrian Lewis, of course, a two-time world champion. And he has got bottle, this lad. But can he produce his best when it really counts? 
If I was going to give him any advice, based on what we've seen tonight, don't average 104. 57. That would be it. Mensor's done it. Jihan's done it. They've both lost. And they've both lost, yes. 100. But as you say, I mean, he knows what he's got to do against Michael. If he's not going to play well, you know, you, you're going to get beaten heavily. But last night, it actually, standard-wise, average-wise, has, has no relevance on, on tonight because... You know, we always say, just get over the first round. We don't care how we get over it. That Just get over it. That's what he's done. It'll feel very different for Jamie on that stage right now. I mean, compared to last night. Last night, they were late on. It was a mammoth session. He was taking on Michael Rose now. The crowd are a bit flat. Neither of them really got going. But prime time slot against the world number one. After the games we've had this evening, there's a real sort of... It's bubbling here in Dusseldorf. If you can't get up for this, you struggle to get up for any darts match. Yeah, 96 left. He's got to come over for the treble 20. 58. And right when he needed a treble. Oh, and then Gerwin took out. Oh. I was going to say, he took out 108. He was in the first leg, and he's missed that. Two darts at a double, so a chance here for Lewis. And these are the chances he's got to take. Oh, uh, 61, so is it 25? No, he's got to go, go 11. 11. Yes, he's got to go 11. He can't afford to go for the 25. 51. And that's unlucky. It's just drifted into the treble 12. five. Well then. There's oh, the faintest Final glimmer of hope for Jamie Lewis. Lewis snuffed out Lewis. by a... Game on. Beaming world number one. Michael Van Gogh retrieves his darts from the board. It's a 2-0 lead he's got here. 60. I know we, we go on about don't miss big numbers, but that's possibly cost Jamie the leg. And, you know, when someone like Michael Van Gogh wow. starts to get in front of him, and let's be honest, he hasn't got on a run yet. Mm. And the longer he doesn't get on the run obviously the more chance you've got and that second leg again we talk about legs two and three how the crucial they've been all day and again leg two has been crucial to Jamie Lewis yeah well there have been chances this year on the European tour to stop Van Gerwen Jamie Caven had one match dart Terry Jenkins had one match dart Benito van der Pass managed to take his chance I mean out in Dubai all three, Barnevelt, Lewis and Taylor, were in front of him right up until leg 17 and had chances to go even further ahead. 58. But when you are the world number one, like I've said so many times, you're not only the best player at the time, you're actually got a little bit of luck on your shoulder as well. And you can't do without it. Well, I'm right on 40. And a ton 40 gets him back in this leg. It's not a great leg from either man. Well, it's got to come up to 18, so that looks a bit dodgy, that one. 95. Well, that leaves the 108 that MVG took out in the opening leg. 139. Jamie Set up pretty nicely now, Jamie Lewis. 108 to break straight back. Well, he's going for the 419s to, uh, four to leave the 32, and he hasn't hit the treble. And the third one is not good enough, Back so Van Gerwen, two darts at tops for a 3 0 lead. 46. Wow, a few missed doubles. Jamie requires 16. And Jamie Lewis is being given some opportunities here. He's got to take them. Oh, oh he's score. busted. He's gone next door. It's Back a nightmare. Even well, Michael, Van Gerwen yeah. wasn't expecting it. <laughs> yeah, the, the no score from Ross Bray absolutely fooled. Uh, Van Gogh, and he's thinking, no score, what's happened there? It's on the third leg. No, certainly no, no score from Full Michael Van Gogh, and he's the double five. We're talking leg two and three, Dan. Actually, Jamie Lewis could be 2-1 up. Yeah. They're all ifs and buts, we know, but if you're going to beat Michael Van Gogh, in, you know, you can't Eight afford to make three. mistakes. Could be 2-1 up with a break of throw in there as well. Yes. Let me see. But to be quite honest, you know, we're only talking four or five years ago, Van Gogh was in the same position as Jamie Lewis. Yeah, completely. Well, I remember in, in Gibraltar, 
this year as Jamie Lewis looks to fill this up. And Van Gerwen, it's probably the worst game he's played in the European Tour all year. We played Kevin Painter and he only averaged in the high 80s. And he, he got through that just. Talk about winning ugly. Really was. Well, we talk about it so often. You know, you're not going to play at the top of your game every time you stick your foot to the hockey. That, that, um, 58. And when you win a tournament, there's always at least one game you go, I got away with that. Yeah. I got away with that. It may be in the early part of games. <laughs> But the win and ugly it is a fact. You have to learn how to win ugly. And we talk about Michael Smith. You know, perhaps he's just realising that sometimes, you know, you've got to get down and dirty. Nothing down and dirty about his win against Mentor Sulevich. Absolutely incredible game of darts between those two. Van Gerwen. 99. 99 gets him down to a manageable one, but Lewis looking at Shanghai. He does have a very long dart, does Jamie Lewis. There's the potential to clatter into them. And he's not moving, so he thinks he can see double top. Game and he can, and he pins it. Jamie Lewis, and Jamie Lewis gets a leg on the board. Yes, yeah, so that'll give him a little bit of confidence. Certainly Van Gerwen has not outscored him. However, Van Gerwen, you know, we talk about Van Gerwen's runs where he goes three, four, five legs of level 12, 13 diamonds. He certainly hasn't done that yet. And it may be because it's his first game on the stage here in the Maritime Hotel, just outside Dusseldorf Airport. Can't hear the planes going over. Mind you, with a crowd like that, you can't hear a lot else. Certainly can't. 96. And they will make a racket. They've been up and down out of their seats so far this evening. A little bit subdued now, just waiting for 34. the world number one to perhaps like the blue touch paper here. Five leaves Michael Van Gogh in 120, but Jamie Lewis knows if he can set this up, he's got a chance of getting a break back. Brilliant. Yeah, he did exactly the right thing, stayed on there. <laughs> Excuse me, he had the line and length. And now it's Van Gogh and he wants 120. Lewis took it out the previous leg. Oh, and a chance here for Jamie Lewis to get that throw back. Just a few missed doubles from Michael Van Gogh in here. And it's presenting Jamie Lewis with a chance. He's got to take it though, surely. 17. Michael, you, you can't keep 14. passing up opportunities like that against Michael Van Gogh in because he'll just do that to you. 4 1 Michael to MVG. Six leg Jamie to throw first. Of course, that's the second Michael Van Gogh in throw where Lewis actually should have won. Yeah. 57. Yeah, we were all talking when the draw was made that it could be MVG and Benito van der Pass in the Fourteen. third round, a repeat of their match in Risa three weeks ago where Benito ended his unbeaten run of 21 games on the European Tour in 2015. That's not going to happen. Benito knocked out by Fourteen. Johnny Haynes, the punk. Won 6-4 this afternoon. It's Haynes who awaits the winner of this one. Right now, 93. it looks like MVG, but Jamie Lewis... He's had chances, and he's, if he ups his game, there's nothing you know, to say that Michael Van Gogh in a, will match him. You would expect him to. 97. It's not guaranteed, and look at that, he's missing, well, they're both missing doubles. 60. Yes, you have to say that the world number one certainly hasn't got into a stride yet. And this is where this young man, Jamie Lewis, has got to make him pay. Start pounding the treble 20. Give wow, yourself chances and take them out. Certainly the game is not lost yet. By a long shot. 25 last, last start though. Is that the, the shot there? I mean, I know it looked good for the 180, wow, but... 21. Well, it, it, it's worked out okay for him because Van Gerwen can't go out. But uh, certainly Van Gerwen have, have left a check out. Then, yeah, he should have switched to... 93. Perhaps the 18s. Here 
Here comes MVG. Well, he's stuck in a maximum. He's stuck in a maximum to leave himself double three, but that gets the fans on their feet. Is it going to distract Jamie Lewis? Well, he's looking at tops. 32. Buckley requires six. And another chance goes Game begging. And another leg. missed opportunity Mark is punished by the Dutchman. Yeah, a 5 1 scoreline does not tell the story, to be quite honest. You know, Jamie's played a lot better, missed, wow. missed too many doubles, self chance. I mean, when you're playing the world number one or a world champ like Gary Anderson or a Phil Taylor, you're not going to get handfuls of darts at a double. It is going to be one maybe two and if you're extremely lucky you may get three but that really is the, the most and those ones and twos you, and if you hit them earlier on obviously that gives you the confidence and then you you normally carry on hitting them like uh, Benito van der Pass did but um, Jamie just missed a few darts 80. well this could be coming to a rather rapid end for Jamie Lewis if you told him beforehand that Van Gerwen was only going to average 91 against him, he'd have bitten your hand off. But he's not been able to capitalise so far. Now, could it be a party piece to round things off? It won't be. A little purse of the lips from Van Gerwen suggests he was thinking about going for the bullseye had he hit the two treble 20s. But he set it up very nicely indeed. And it could well be the best leg of the match to seal the deal and book his place in the last 16 to face Johnny Haynes. Double 18 he wants, right on the wire, and that one finds its mark. And Jamie Lewis, desperately disappointed for the young Welshman, only hit one in six in his doubles. Had he taken a few more of the chances that were presented to him by a lacklustre world number one, things could have been very, very different. Michael Van Gerwen knows he's dodged a bullet there, but he goes through to the final day of action at the European Darts Open and he gives himself an opportunity to go and turn on the style. He straight through his match against Kevin Painter in this stage in Gibraltar a few months ago and then went bonkers on the final day. We shall see if he does that tomorrow. I know, that was not your A game. But you always say the first round match is a match just to come through to get in contact with the tournament. Yeah, that's true, but it was absolutely shiza. I can do a lot better than this, but the most important thing is I won the game, and uh, what can I say? I just want to do better than the next one. I, my confidence is there, but I didn't play well for some reason. But I need to focus myself on the next ones, and uh, to be fair, Jamie played crap as well, and uh, it was just it was not a good, a good game between us. We play better games, but. I'm still in the tournament, though. What can you say? Um, we're still going, and I need to prepare for hand. I was shocked when I heard that you lost a match on the European Tour in 2015 in Riga. How could that happen? <laughs> you, you cannot win all the times, and I always try my 200% my hardest, but if I play like this, the rest of the tour, I won't win as well. So I need to do a little bit better, but I know I can do that, and there's a lot of people here who come and watch proper darts, but I just formed it tonight and uh, I want to play better tomorrow and show everyone what I can. Good to see you tomorrow again. Thank you very much. Michael van Gerwen, der von seiner eigenen Leistung enttäuscht ist, der eigentlich weiß, es stimmt doch so ziemlich alles aktuell. Das Selbstvertrauen ist da. Er wird sich morgen noch ein bisschen besser vorbereiten und er weiß, er muss sich morgen steigern, wenn er denn dann weiterkommen will. Hat ja die ersten vier European Tour Turniere gewonnen in 2015. In Riesa dann nach 20 gewonnenen Matches seine erste Niederlage.